what's up guys welcome back to the channel if you're new here make sure to like comment subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today in this video we're installing the uptop overland uptake snorkel which is available now at tacomaforce.com let's get into it this isn't going to be a super in-depth video because Micah from Uptop Overland actually posted a hour-long install video of this walking you through every single step you'll need on Uptop Overland's YouTube channel. I'll have that linked below too. Make sure to go check that out if you need the more in-depth. This will just be, sort of be an overview video. This snorkel was specifically designed for naturally aspirated engines and Uptop is working on a solution that will be compatible with the supercharger on the Tacoma 2 which will be released soon and once it's released it'll be available at TacomaForce.com. The first step in this process is going to be removing your inner wheel well on your passenger side of your vehicle and the only things you'll need is a panel popper tool and a 10 millimeter socket and if you have a cut fender and zip tied up make sure to get some wire snips to cut those zip ties. So in mine, there were five screws that were 10 millimeter, and then the rest of them are the clips. But it seems like every Tacoma is a little different, so you'll just have to see what yours is. All right, so normally at this point in the video, you would be removing your factory air box, but since I have an aftermarket K&N air box, I'll need to take that out later, but I'll need to get my factory one and do a couple modifications to it before I can install it. So you just gotta take off this little scoop. It's pretty easy. And then you just gotta file down this piece of plastic to the same length as these. So you just need to cut that piece of plastic down so it's the same length as all those, just like that. And then you'll just install the coupler that goes is two different sizes. So this reducing coupler goes on there with the banjo clamp. So the next step is you're just gonna install this bracket up with the same mounting hardware and get the snorkel nice hand tight just sitting up here. Once you have the snorkel attached up there, you'll undo this portion down here, or it's not gonna be on yet. You'll push it up to the vehicle, and you'll feel it. It'll, it'll obviously go to one spot, and like, it's a perfect fit right there. And then you're gonna take a Sharpie, and mark the big hole here, and then there should be three little holes on the inside that you'll drill. I'll show you when I get those marked. All right, so as you can see, I have hole one, two, and three, and then the big one marked. And then you're just gonna get the drill bit and the stop collar that they included with your kit. And you're gonna drill, 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 and then drill at the edge here. You had to make this circle about a quarter inch bigger so then the rubber um, could actually fit and not be super snug and be a bear to put on. Now you're just gonna drill and then use the other tool to just and go all the way around and get a perfect circle with no burrs. And now the scariest part of the hole install. Get three. Drill four holes. super easy to drill through, just kind of scary. Now you go get the nibbler and work your way around. So this is the nibbler that they installed with your kit. You could use like a jigsaw or something for this hole, but it's not gonna be as clean. So this is the cleanest way to do it with no burrs. And it's super nice that they include it with the kit. Two hours later. That was a lot harder than expected. This thing is very slow. Or 
there's an attachment for one of these on Amazon for pretty cheap that you can just stick into a drill. I would definitely recommend doing that. Now all you gotta do is get some clear nail polish and coat that so it doesn't get corroded. So then you're just gonna apply some clear nail polish to any raw metal surface so it doesn't get corroded. So now that the bolts are fed through this, I'm gonna stick them up there. I need to undo this top one first so I can put it back through that mount. Then you're gonna tighten down the snorkel with the nut and the bolt from the bag. Just tighten it from the front and back. It's a 13 and a 5 mil. There we go. All installed. Plumbed through the fender. You can't even see it. It's unnoticeable in the engine bay too. There we go. Uptake is installed. All right guys, that's a wrap on this Uptop Overland Uptake Snorkel install. If you'd like to pick one up for yourself, make sure to check out TacomaForce.com. And if you liked what you saw in this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos and I'll catch up with you on the next one. Peace.